loves, today I have a different kind of video for you guys. I have not done an updated what's in my purse video since like last fall and I feel like that's ridiculous because I have been using this handbag since December I believe. It's basically become my go-to and now that summer is rolling around I just don't see myself swapping out anytime soon. I am currently traveling so this thing is a bit of a mess. I'll be totally honest, I organized the tiniest bit before I filmed this, otherwise you would have just seen like a mound of receipts <laughs> in the very top of my bag. Um, but yeah, I wanted to show you guys what I currently have in my purse. It is a little bit more full now that I'm traveling, um, just keep that in mind. So this is kind of like what's in my purse travel edition, but actually almost like everything in here stays in here all of the time. So yes, we are going to go ahead and get into it. This bag is from Kate Spade. My husband got it for me in November and I got it in December so here is what the bag looks like and then the inside is like lined red so it's very like nautical and super freaking cute I am obsessed with it and it's gigantic I think this is the Kate Spade something tote I'm not sure of the exact name of it she has this tote though out all of the time um, and it's pretty inexpensive for a higher-end bag especially for as big as it is this one was actually a few seasons old so my husband got a super deal on it I think it was like under a hundred dollars so yes we are going to get into what is inside of my purse the first thing that I have are my sunnies and these go everywhere with me they are from Michael Kors and I got them from Nordstrom like six months ago or something like that they are super duper cute. I love how they look on my face and I like the fact that they're nude because they go with absolutely freaking everything. So these are my sunnies of choice right now and um, I don't think I actually switched these out ever. I do have a few other pairs of sunglasses but these are my only like nice sunglasses so they pretty much stay with me all of the time. The next thing is crucial and it is my wallet. I finally got a new wallet for my birthday this year actually so I'll be swapping this out pretty soon but this one is from Vera Bradley and it is in the wallflower print. I love Vera Bradley wallets so so much but they get dingy and gross really fast because they are like cloth quilted material but inside of my wallet I'm gonna have to hide a little bit of info here down here I have my ID so I have my military ID as well as my driver's license and there's a little pocket right behind that for cash and I think I have like let's see one two three four dollars y'all I am ballin then there is one more pocket right behind that but it is currently empty a lot of the times I keep my car registration in there but um, since I don't have my car with me I don't have that paperwork on me um, I'll keep like proof of my insurance back there it's just a really nice pocket to keep important documents honestly most of the time I have this section totally full but right now I don't and I don't really know why I swapped back out to this wallet from a different Vera Bradley wallet somewhat somewhat recently and I think I left a lot of those cards in there I have my debit card and my Starbucks card. It is the Happy New Year card from 2013 and I love it. I still use it to this day. I am a gold member but I don't use my gold card. I love this one. I also have a Barnes and Noble membership card. A lot of the times I also do carry like my credit card in here and like my Sephora card and my Ulta card and things like that. My credit card is not in there right now because I'm really I'm kind of crazy when I travel and I don't like to bring all of my cards with me or have them on me at all times um, and I think that's pretty smart so that's why it's not with me and and also my like other shop cards just aren't in here because I swapped out wallets and the very back is a big zipper where if I'm just taking my wallet into my into like a store where I'm shopping or something I will just put my phone in here and then in here I have a little pocket where I have some change I'm gonna quickly go through the pockets here in this very back pocket where it unzips is where I normally keep my cell phone and keys my keys are not in here again because I am traveling I don't have my car but here is my cellular phone my phone goes everywhere with me normally I have headphones as well so I can listen to my books and my music my phone is like my main lifeline of entertainment all of the time but especially when I'm traveling I have like a million billion apps on my phone but I do not like typically have games on my phone I'm not the kind of person who really likes to play games I get bored really easily so I thought I would actually talk to you guys about this one that I learned about kind of recently and it's called Toy Blast and I'm obsessed with it, you guys. It is one of the most fun puzzle games, if not like the funnest puzzle game I've ever played in my entire life. And ooh, I'll turn off the sound so I'm not like deafening you. I'm up to like level 16 right now. I know my poor phone is so shattered, but I have been playing this non-freaking stop. It's one of those things that's challenging and it really keeps me focused, but it's not too challenging to the point where I like get really frustrated and I give up. I'm kind of a baby with games, especially in the beginning. I had to replay a few levels because I was so freaking confused. It's really unique and it's different from any other um, like puzzle or game I've ever played in my entire life. So it took me a few tries to get used to it, but now that I have, you know, gotten the hang of it, 
I'm obsessed, you guys, and I've been flying through these levels. I'm kind of one of those completionists, and I like for everything to be three stars, which means, like, I did the best job possible. I have only one level that's, like, one star, and that's level 10, and it's bothering me. The game really isn't too hard to get used to. I'm actually going to show you here in a minute. It's really bright and colorful, and like I said, it's challenging without being over the top and getting frustrating. Plus, it has, like, over 200 levels, which means it's not going to end too quickly. You know, you're not, like, downloading it to play it for a few hours. It's definitely something where it's going to take you a while to get through the full game, which I personally really, really, really like. You guys definitely need to try it. It's on the Android Marketplace as well as the iOS um, App Store. Some of the cutest things ever, so I'm going to go ahead and show you a little bit of gameplay of this. Okay, so again, forgive my poor cracked screen, but here is what the game looks like. And the objective is to match up two or more blocks of the same color, and then you get points for that. So a lot of the times you'll have objectives. And up here, it's kind of hard to see because it's clear, you want to pop 25 of the like little bubbles that are actually around these colorful blocks. So I'm just going to press the green ones, and you can see that actually subtracts from the amount of clear bubbles that I need to pop to win the level. So it's really 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 freaking cute you can totally be an overachiever like yours truly and try to do the best possible so how you want to do that is to match up more than two blocks a lot of the times let's see what I can do we will try to get a bunch of oranges together so you can see here I have seven oranges in a row so all I'm gonna do is press that and you can see I get a special item if I press it it will actually destroy or knock out all of the orange cubes that I have on my screen. Another thing you get for lining up a certain amount of blocks in a row of the same color is like a rocket and that will just destroy everything in one like line. You also get like TNT which blows up everything in the surrounding area. You can actually combine items. So here for example I have two of these little motor rocket guys like side by side. So all I'm gonna do is press that and it basically creates it's like a double whammy and you can see like I got all of the blocks in this line as well as the line across. There are more like interactive levels as well and with every single level there are new negative obstacles and more boosters to help you progress. So yes, I'm going to finish this level um, because it is driving me crazy. I'm so close. Yes, I finished it and now I'm getting Toy Blast because I had so many moves left so I'm just basically getting extra points while it destroys all of the blocks in my way. This is the most satisfying screen ever. <laughs> so you can see I got, let's see how many stars I got. Oh, I got three, yes. So, and then I will just move on to the next level. I highly recommend you guys check out Toy Blast. It is one of my new favorite things in the entire world, so I thought I would give it a quick mention. And yeah, I'm going to get into the rest of what is in my purse. In my pockets on the side, this is the pocket where I always keep, like, can you guys even see me right now? This is where I always keep little odds and ends. So most of the time, that includes, like, bobby pins. Um, I just have blonde bobby pins because I am a blonde. And I also have just, like, hair ties. And I typically have more than this, but I... I always seem to lose them so in the next pocket I will show you really quickly um, I have a ton a ton a ton a ton a ton of receipts so I fold these up and I always keep them I'm one of those people who keeps all of my receipts and I always file them away I think it's really important so yeah I just usually fold those up and put them right over here in this side pocket and usually like at the end of the day I'll take out all of my receipts and just make sure that they're nice and organized in a notebook at my house but right now I'm traveling so there's a ton okay so in the rest of my bag, let's talk about something really, really, really random. I've just been getting really sick lately, like super nauseous. I have a really weak stomach and little tiny things always set me off, like the smell of food. No, I'm not pregnant. Um, I know some people are going to comment that, but I'm not. And it's just, it's random stuff that will set me off and make me feel so nauseous. So I actually have ginger root pills in my purse and I feel like these work and it's a really natural way to get rid of nausea. Um, and they don't make me drowsy or make me feel like crap. So that's a huge reason why I carry these around. I have a lone hair tie, of course. I have a nail file and I really need to file my nails right now. This one is just from Sally Hansen. My nails are kind of on the brittle side and they're always breaking, if we're being totally honest. I'm always like cracking a nail for whatever reason. So I like to have nail files in my purse just to fix them. And this one's like really cute and colorful and it's from Sally Hansen, so it's a great one. I have snacks. Which, 
Honestly, these are kind of jumbo size snacks. Normally I would not have these big of bags in my purse if I'm carrying around snacks, but um, I'm like getting on a plane tomorrow, so I do have jumbo sizes for the travel. I have these Smokehouse Blue Almond or Blue Diamond Almonds. This is my favorite flavor ever. Yes, it has additional sodium. No, they're not as like healthy as just straight almonds, but you guys, these are crack and I love them. It's better than a potato chip, okay? Like give me something. Other thing that I have is just the Simply Balanced, and this is from Target, um, dried mango. And I love dried fruit and I think it's a great like sort of snack to keep you on the more full side and also to get in some sort of nutrition while on the go because it's not easy to just like cut up a mango in the middle of an airport or in the car or whatever so I really like these as a quick fix and yes I have those two as my snacks normally I have mints in here too but they are long gone so we're getting towards the end here um, as far as fragrances this can change but right now I have my little coconut lime verbena mini size the reason I have this is because and yes this is old like if you guys are Bath and Body Works followers you know that this was discontinued forever ago. So, um, this was like my scent. I loved it so much, and when I was like younger, it helped a lot. The scent of it kind of calmed me down. And when I first started driving, I was getting panic attacks constantly. Like I was getting really, really, really panicked in the car. And for me, panic attacks are really brutal. Like I feel like I'm dying. I hyperventilate. It's not, it's not a fun time. And this obviously didn't like cure it, but it often it helped me calm down. So I had this mini size in the glove box of my car um, to help me with panic attacks. So it was in a really cool place. And I had replaced it when I was like 19 and I got my new car. So that was the last time I purchased a scent. So it is a few years old, but it hasn't changed, like the coloring hasn't changed, the scent hasn't changed, because it was in a dark, cool place for so long. So this is what I keep in my purse just to like spray on myself throughout the day and make myself smell a little bit better. But my current perfume favorite, and I, I like need serious advice with this, is Dolce & Gabbana's Light Blue. I have the Eau de Toilette, and this is just a mini purse size, and it's a little sprayer. I hate roller balls, which is why I got this, because I like like this mini sprayer. I feel like this scent really does not last at all. Like I will spray it and five minutes later I can't smell it anymore. And I thought maybe it was me, like maybe I just am really used to the scent. And I asked my mom the other day, can you like smell anything on me? And I had just sprayed it like 10 minutes before and she leaned in um, and this is not like a normal scent for me. I've never worn this before this past month. She leaned in and smelled me and she's like, I smell nothing on you. You don't smell like anything but like hair product. And I like made her smell this and I'm like, you don't smell this on me. And she kept saying no. So I'm like really confused. I know that you can do the lotion thing where you later layer it over lotion. Um, but I don't know. Do you guys notice that with this scent, it just fades really quickly? Let me know in the comments. I don't really carry around makeup ever. Um, if I'm wearing false lashes, I will carry around a pair of tweezers, a compact, and lash glue, but um, I don't have that in there today because I just did my makeup, but I do have some lippies. I always have my favorite chapstick of all time. This is the Candy Cane Chapstick um, from the brand Chapstick, and I will have a lip balm of some sort on me. Right now, I also really like the Whole Foods Peppermint Chapstick. I really just like peppermint scented things, so that is why I have that. I also really like the way that they taste. I have a few different colors in my purse right now. This is the Pure Minerals Lip gloss stick in Berry Pretty and this is very new to me but I love the shade of this. It is a very sheer like mauve -y color and it just gives me a little bit of color on the face and it's not too out of the realm of my natural lip color. I also carry around this Stila Color Balm in the shade, uh, Color Balm Lipstick, I'm sorry, in the shade of Olivia and this is a beautiful like nudie peachy pink. This smells like mint and it feels amazing on the lips. This is just a really nice go-to nudie pink for me and I can layer it on and make it more opaque or I can just do one quick like swipe of it and it's more sheer like a gloss. The last thing that I have is always my current lipstick and what I am wearing today is the Collection Privé um, nude collection from L'Oreal. This is actually Jennifer's nude so it's JLo's nude and you can see on the back it just has her signature. Packaging is gorge. I'm really um, just wearing this for the first time today if we're being totally honest, but I love this color, you guys. I have it over Max Boldly Bare Lip Liner, and I'm dead. It's so gorgeous. So that is what I have in there. And then, actually, I was dropping everything back in, but I will show you guys to prove it. That is all that I have in my purse. So that's it. So I seriously hope you all enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not already. And until next time, I will see you all very, very, very soon. Bye.